Australia Cup finalist MacArthur will be looking to take their cup form into the league this season. The question, Robbie Thompson, is what impact will Dwight York have in translating cup form to league form? Well, that is the big question because he's only been in a head coaching job for four games. He's won all of them. I think he's averaging four and a bit goals per game. Uh, they concede very few. They've only conceded two goals in that cup run. For the moment, it's a bit like the Midas touch. I like what he's doing. I like the way the squad is playing positive football. They've brought in good players as well. Um, I think for the players that were there last year, and for me personally, MacArthur were a big disappointment last year. At the start of the season, they'd been semi-finalists the year before. They were looking good. Then that, they had that COVID break of six weeks. Word got out that Ante Milicic was out at the end of the season. And I just really think that had a negative effect across the whole squad. I mean, even last year they had a fantastic squad of players and it just didn't happen. They just couldn't get this thing off the ground in the second half of the season. If Dwight York can change mentalities, can inspire that playing squad, because obviously he's a legend of the game, everyone knows who he is, and that can have a really good effect when you have a coach that's won it and done it all at the highest level. And I think if he can inspire those players, obviously he's got his right-hand man who's with him from, from Trinidad and Tobago as well. So they've got this combination. And for me, it has all the trappings of being something really successful this year. It's hard to sometimes make judgment on teams in the off-season because we don't see a lot of them week in, week out. But MacArthur, we've seen through the Australia yes. Cup run. So what have you made of the early impressions that, that Dwight Hewitt has made on the squad? I'm very impressed, actually, because uh, he's a former teammate of mine, Dwight York, but he's never, never one that stood out to me as being a manager, a coach. He's obviously waited a long time for that opportunity. Um, and he's, from what I'm looking outside looking in, he's obviously trying to shed that all night Dwight mm -hmm. party boy tag, uh, which is difficult. So it's taken him a long time to, but he's come in now as a, as a coach. They look very structured, very organised. Um, they've made light work of the Australia Cup, must be said, uh, which is credit to him. Um, and, you know, the likes of Daniel Arzani, even already, he looks like he's getting the best out of him. He's scoring goals, he looks confident which is, you know, a relief to everybody in Australian football that he's making a bit of a comeback. So, yeah, so, so far, so good for Dwight York and MacArthur, Cup final to look forward to. Um, they've got undoubtedly players of real quality. Um, Yuli De Villa, Arzani, if we're talking about noon, you know, real quality players there, solid uh, setup behind that. My concern at the moment is a number nine. Uh, they have Carter, Lockie Rose, Torrey, uh, none of whom are a double-figure striker, for me, just yet, so that's my concern. But is he going to go with? A, a, is it going to be a team dynamic, um, and no one man is going to lead the kind of um, you know? I have to carry that weight of being the striker, you know, which w surprises me as Dwight York was such a great striker himself. So, I go, this this maybe still time to do a bit of work there, and or maybe he's happy. So that's to, remains to be seen. On on that note, I agree with you. From what I've seen so far of of Anthony Carter, he's a big boy over one meter ninety five. <laughs> good target man, and I just think potentially, if it all clicks, you have so many goals around mm -hmm. that central player. Arzani clearly has an eye for goal. Toure, I think he's scored five, four or five goals in the cup run. Davila scored a great goal against Oakley Cannons in the, in the semi-final to get them back into the game. And I think if you have that, I agree with you that you need a number nine to be there to finish things off. But when you have, you know, Danny De Silva, who can pick a pass, when you have so many players coming from behind, from making runs from midfield... For me, almost, the key is how they will defend with such an attacking lineup. Yep. If, if your number nine is not going to be your goal threat, you need numbers forward. They have that, but then Kieran Backus in that number six role who's just come in, yep. Aspro at the back, defensively, they need to be rock solid. and That, that for me, will be the key. You mentioned it might be the sum of their parts, might be the team situation, but there's no doubt that the headline at going into the season is going to be Daniel Arzani. Yes. And there are some great talking points in there, like like Toure and some of the, the, the players they have around him. But you've, we've seen a bit of Daniel so far. High hopes for Australian football that this second win will be, we'll see the talent uh, fulfil his potential. What are your thoughts? What are your expectations? Yeah, well, look, he's got everything in his armoury. He's got a full skill set. He's quick, he's skillful, he's fit. Um, I, I think, I, I suppose, the test was when he went over to Europe, um, he's obviously gone through, he's have to take his medicine, he's, he's gone through the school of hard knocks a little bit, which I think in the long run will be very good. You know, nobody ever has a great career without some setbacks. So um, hopefully these setbacks he's had over the last couple of years 
will never be remembered again because of how good he's going to progress from here. And, uh, yeah, MacArthur have given him a great stepping stone and he's going to play every single game, you know, and uh, um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm much looking forward to it. Yeah, I think it's a really clever move as well by the club and Arzani because we knew there was going to be a whole lot of focus on Daniel Arzani when he comes back. But there's Dwight York. Mm. who's a star of, of this league and, uh, and as coach. And for Dwight York as well, you don't want it all to be, he doesn't want it all to be about Dwight York. So he's brought in a star player as well. And all of a sudden, you don't have this one focus if it doesn't work or if it does work, it's all about Daniel Azar. It's all about Dwight York. Now you've got two elements at least, Correct, of star yeah. quality. And, and that's, that's clever. That's clever for both. Mm -hmm. Dwight York, the coach, what do you bring the league? What do you bring MacArthur? Well, he brings glamour. He brings that touch of Las Vegas. We talked about Central Coast Mariners a while ago. They don't have any of that. They don't have the glitz and the glamour, but they have a team that's going to work on the sum of its parts, right? But with, with MacArthur, they have the quality on the park, but he's still the biggest star, which says a lot for you know, how good he was. Um, and look, he's not, the, he, he's not coming across as the, the lovable, smiley rogue he used to be. He's a very serious coach. I'm, I'm getting that vibe, you know? Um, so, yeah, look, I, I'm, I'm, pre I'm impressed so far. He's got results. Uh, in in the cup and he I mean he's got players as well. It's all about the personnel you have, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about Arzani, Yuli Devia, Tori. You know, good, really good players, solid pros. So he's got a he's got all the components to really challenge for the A League this year. And uh, you know, I, I I think he's got every opportunity. I wonder if it's going to be more of an English model manager compared to mm -hmm. like the Ante Milicic, who was there on the he had his assistant coaches, of course, but was there every training session with the whistle positioning players and moving around. Perhaps Dwight's taken this step back. I mentioned his right-hand man, Russell Lepati, who, who went to the World Cup in 2006 with Trinidad Tobago, has a huge experience, won the Portuguese League with Porto under Bobby Robson. He, I get the feeling, is the nuts and bolts yes. guy on the field, the one that's the hard man. Dwight's the manager. He's Dwight's the manager. The manager. Yeah, he, he's the guy that deals with all the, exactly. the issues. He's the guy, I'm the boss. Yeah. That's the coach, it, yeah. it, and he and he's spent a lot of time in the. He's he's an English Absolutely. guy as such now, you Absolutely. know. So his Absolutely. whole mindset will have changed, but uh, yeah, that's a good dynamic as well. It's it's different to what the guys will have been used to, and uh, yeah, they'll have to hit the mark really because yeah. the Dwight won't mess around. There is pressure on him, that's oh. for sure. I sense I sense from here that there might be some reasonably high expectations in these predictions. What are we sensing for MacArthur this season? Well, for me, yes, I think they've mm. got a they've got from what we've seen so far, they've got the management. We know that they're an ambitious club. They're trying to do things off the pitch as well, which has been a difficult two years for them so far. They've got the players on the pitch. For me, after what I said at the start as well, was a disappointing season last year. I, I had expectations for them last year. They haven't, if anything, they've increased. They've re-signed good players as well. Kurto has re-signed. I think that's important. Um, Mombo as well in midfield is an extra element. They've got numbers. They've got depth all over the park. They've gotten rid of a bit of the older players that were in defence. They've got a bit more mobility. Mariapa's gone at mm -hmm. 35. You know, they've lost Tommy Orr. They've lost certain elements of the Milicic era, but mm. they're, they've brought in new blood and they've got depth. They've got quality. Me, expectations high. They should be top six. Has me. to be top six, yeah. Robbie. Has to be yeah. top six. Well, cup finalists. Let's see how they finish in the league and the expect expectations are high for Dwight York's not only first season in the Isuzu A-League, but first season in coaching. There'll be all eyes on Dwight York. Can't wait to see how it goes.